In this tutorial, we're going to take a first look at the new SubD tools available in Rhino 7. SubD modeling in Rhino is essentially taking a leaf out of more organic modeling softwares such as Blender or Maya, and these tools are pretty new to Rhino and don't yet quite reach the capabilities of these other softwares. So this will be a quick crash course into the basics of SubD modeling. So what is SubD modeling in Rhino? SubD is a new object type available in Rhino 7. You might be more familiar with some of the more common object types such as poly surfaces or surfaces in Rhino which constitute NURBS geometries as well as, as, well as other object types like meshes. So NURBS or non-uniform rational B-splines is a modeling technique that harnesses the power of mathematics to represent geometry. Take a sphere for instance. A sphere exists nowhere in the real world. It's actually a mathematical equation, and this equation is represented as a NURBS geometry, and it's completely smooth and has no flat faces. A sphere in mesh modeling, however, is made up from the combination of mesh faces that serve as an approximation of its surface. The geometry still looks like a sphere, but if we inspect it closely, we can see the polygonal sphere is jagged and made from smaller parts. Now, the difference with sub D is that sub-D geometries are spline-based geometries, and they're kind of like NURBS geometries. However, they are modelled from an unsmoothed base geometry, like a mesh, which enables us greater control over the manipulation of the geometry, whilst giving us a continuous representation of curved geometry, which is essentially the best of both worlds.